Shalom Akim. First off, praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakratash, Dev Ampas Kamil, so on such let. And right now, basically, what I'm going to listen into, man, is basically about bro, moving in the world. But you got to understand, bro, that moving in the world, you got to have basically finesse, bro. You got to have finesse in this thing, man. In a sense that you cannot be the same dude. You gotta put it on the front, bro. Honestly, the truth is, you gotta put it on the front. That's why I can put stuff in the face. Not because you hate the truth, not because you think, like, oh, you're embarrassed, bro. But because you gotta move wisely, you gotta move smartly in this thing, man. Understand that if I go around, if I go to work, right, and tell everybody that, hey, this is what the truth is, this is all about. I said, hey, bro, you should come here real quick. You should come. Hey, man, you got. Hey, you know you part of the left. You know you probably the left. You know you, you part, maybe Israel. You know you Israel, right? I'll be honest, man. And shit, I, and I understand too, bro. If I was in the world too, man, I'm like this dude's fucking crazy. This dude's fucking weird. We gotta, we gotta either make him go, or make 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 him go, or we're going to let him go. At the end day, right? we can't do that, man. We can't be this, super this, that, other world in the world, man. We gotta use the things that's in the world, bro. To pay your bills, man. To pay for this, pay for that, man. I understand that. It's part of the world, bro. Using Esau's ways, but pays bills. What put food in your kids' bellies? Put food in this, that, other man. Pay electricity, pays the water, pay for this, pay, pay. It pays me to go to camp. The gas, my car, put it for the mirror, all that, bro. Money costs a lot. Costs. Money has a defense. Money has a defense, man. It allows you to do things, bro. It allows you to do things. To understand that. So, while in the world, bro, we cannot be this super. I'm an Israelite, this standard, bro. Gotta be Clark Clinton, the same, bro. But, like, man, this dude just the. People looking at that as a normal everyday dude. Now, hey, they show up on a higher than Bowers while my camp, bro. They show up. I have no control over that. I can't say I'm not, oh shit, it's a, uh, they, they see me, they see me. I can't stop that. If the Lord wants that to happen, the Lord doesn't allow that to happen. I think I had no say so in matter. But has it happened yet? As far as my knowledge, no, as far as I as far as I know, man, I mean, shit, they could probably know behind closed doors. But as far as I know, man, they don't know. But that's okay, bro. Now, I'm gonna get this real quick in Matthews, but fuck <laughs> so, yeah. I'm loading up real quick on this though. It's all good though. Matthew 10 verse 16 and read, "Behold, I set you forth a sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents." How much it does. You're wise in this team, man. We gotta move wildly smart. We gotta move like ja we gotta move like Jacob, man. Because that is that is our father. That is our forefather, bro. Jacob. Oh Jacob, he's the seer, man. Let me get that in your account real quick. This is Genesis, I believe it's first point seven. Yeah, I'm gonna read bits and pieces here and there, man. I'm pretty sure you both know, but it's for edification's sake. The gents for extension from the top, you got a little pretext on it, man. Because it came to pass that when Isaac was old, his eyes were dim and he could not see. He called Esau, his eldest son, and said unto him, My son. And he said unto him, Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold now, I am old, I know not the day of my death, not therefore take, I pray thee. Thy weapons, thy quiver, and thy bow, and go out to the field, and take me some venison, and make a savory meat, such as love, such as I love. Bring it to me that I may eat it, so that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. But preach and go before this man Esau sold Jacob's birthright. So Jacob is birthright. He said, "What's good is me if I'm dying and." If I die right now, because he's impatient, but he's impatient. The fire is Rebecca heard. Rebecca heard 
which I expect to Esau his son. And Esau went to the field and hunt for venison to bring it. And Jacob spake unto her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother saying, Bring me venison and make me savor meat that I may eat. Bless and bless thee before the most high and bless thee before the most high before the most high before my death. Now there now therefore my son obey my voice according to which I have commanded thee. Go to the flock, fetch me from hence two goats, two kids of two so two could ah, two good kids of the goats, and I make them savory meat for thy father, such as he loved. And thou shalt bring it to thy father, that he may eat it. Then he had blessed thee before his death. And Jacob said to his mother, Behold, Esau, my, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man. I am a smooth man. My father, preventure, will feel me. I have seen to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. So right there, man, at the end of the day, technically, Jacob supposed to have the birthright, bro. Esau did not tell that, hey, I'm going to bless him, this for you. No, he's like, he still wants everything at the end of the day. And Jacob was like, man, I'm going I'm to get caught. I'm going to get caught doing this. I'm going to smack that dude hairy, that dude hairy as hell, you know, feel me? And you guys, and you, you ain't Esau. <laughs> but <laughs> this, this, bro, this is how, this how fucking... Not really deceiving at the end of the day, but really, it's, it's in a sense deceiving, right? Because hey, he's supposed to have the birth right, man. But he, his father don't know it yet. He don't, he don't know it. And his mother sent him. And mother sent him upon me, upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice and go fetch them. And that's funny as fuck. You know what I said? Just, just, just go, just go do it. Just go, just go, just go do. It. Don't, don't worry about that. Let's go, let's go get them kids. Let's go get the, let's go get the goat. Let's go get that goat. I'm gonna worry about that. Don't worry about that. That shit's funny. That shit's funny, man. <laughs> and, he, and he went and fetched and brought them to his mother, and his mother made savory meat, such as our love. And Rebecca took the goodly raiment of her eldest son Esau. Which with her, which were of, with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the goat, of the kid of the goats, upon his hand, and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the savor meat and the bread, which she has prepared, to the hand, into the hand of her son Jacob. <laughs> and that's some smooth shit, bro. He's like, yeah, the dude, oh, but hey, take, take his jacket. It's because Esau's a man out of the woods, bro. And now I don't know if he's outside for a long period of time, bro, but like here in, the, here in Arizona, right? If I'm out hiking this time, bro, or it's being out for long, bro, especially in the, in the summer. Yeah, I'm gonna accumulate the smell of dust. It's dusty out there in the woods, bro. Hey, if you be out there for a long time, bro. You ain't no fucking shower out there, man. So take take his raiment, bro. Take take his clothing. And put this hair and put this hair on you real quick with the goats, and go give that shit to your father. But basically, the point right there. I'm gonna say, hey, be some, like, why is like that, man? I understand that. Hey, we, you gotta do what you out there, what you gotta do, bro. Don't be saying will need that I you know, I don't go to my job site, I don't go tell every person that I meet that I'm an Israelite. Nah bro. I don't tell everybody about the truth because at the end of the day it's not for them, bro. If it and if it is, it'll Lord make a way make a way for them to know the truth, man. The elect will be sealed at the end of regardless, bro. It's about, I'm reading again verses Matthew ten verse sixteen and behold I send you for me before a sheep and miss of wolves. Bees are for wise as serpents and harmless and doves. Be wise, gotta be wise how you move in this thing, bro. Matthew 5, verse 25. Because not this part, too, is how to deal with situations, man. And sometimes the best thing to do is just 
agree, bro. So yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Now, is that always the case? No. I mean, man, you gotta just stand on business. But a lot, a lot of YN, bro. Now, then it's just it's for Northern, for the Southern Kingdom. That's for every single, bro, even Esau. That's for go for all of Jacob, all of Israel, even for Esau, even for Moab, even for Ammon. Even all of them, bro. Every single one of them. Even for Ishmael, bro. They're all fucked. They're all white. This is at the fire of my prize. I agree with that adversary quickly when Allah sent him. We hear A Z, right? I don't know how laws out there, bro. I'm not saying my post man. Hey, A Z, bro, is an open carry state. You getting a gun here is quite easy. I think it's quite easy with Florida, too. In Texas, I believe, also. I'm not so sure. Don't, don't, you know, don't call me on that. Arizona, hey, a lot of motherfuckers have guns, bro. It's a common thing. You see that gun, somebody, you see probably walking to Walmart. The sound of holster and like, you ain't no fuck, you ain't no super cop. I don't know. But that's what they do, bro. It's like, you're the adversary quickly without some wasting them. That's any time the adversary delivered you to a judge and, deliver, and judge delivered you to an officer and that be cast into prison. Like, if you're pulled over, bro, I don't go pull say I don't go. You fucking eat my. You don't understand. I don't say eating that shit, bro. The thing I say is like, hello, officer. How, how you been today? I uh, think you know, chill, calm. Say, so, hey, you know, you you know, you ran that red light, right? I'm like, oh, sh you don't know, try that. Yeah, you know, my bad, man. But you never know, bro. We all have bad days. And shit, you, wanna give, you don't want to give him a reason to fucking, to, uh, what's it called, to crash out. It might be some other dude, bro, but not you. Agree, say, hey, you're right, just I'm sorry about that. Or this, then the bro, just play, play into, play into the lid, like, yes, master, yes, master, bro. Might let you off the ass of a warning. So, you know what, hey, next time, watch what you're doing, bro. Might give you a ticket, and you know what, you take that ticket, you pay for it. And you're like, you know what? Hey, thanks, officer. Hey, thanks for letting me know this. Now I'll take the ticket. I'll do this. I'm gonna do my due diligence. Be different, no man. Enough those tickets, bro. Enough, those, enough parking tickets. Hey, that shit got enough for your, enough for your arrest, man. Enough parking tickets. Enough, enough speeding tickets. He's like, hey, man, you need to, you don't pay no shit. You can lock his ass up. You need to be like that, bro. So I understand that moving this truth is much more the same. If this then they shout along, bro, what's up? How you wasn't moving the world? I move my zone, we smartly in the scene, man. To where you ate, no shit's kind of, no major shit happening in your life, bro. And I say, is it always be peaceful, bro? Hell no, man. Sometimes it's just gonna happen, bro. But the best you're building, don't let it happen, bro. With the Akim, you all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kabardash. It's like him so long.